All right, so uh, we got we upgraded the hard drive. I've got it right here. It's not anything special, but um, it was twenty nine dollars on Amazon. So this is the 2009 gigabyte board with a Core 2 Duo dual core processor. Uh, I can't remember how much RAM is in here. Maybe 16 gigabytes, I think. It's the max of whatever this thing can handle, if that's what it is. So we're going to um, start. We're going to do a reset. About four seconds in. And you see, how long does it take? to shut down and restart. About 10 seconds. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. And uh, about 35 seconds. So that was considering shutting down and booting up 35 seconds. So it is still doing something over here, but um, that's pretty cool. So I'm sure it'll slow down probably, but um, we'll see how well it works. I wonder if they get like the old index uh, uh, Windows experience index. Mm. It's been a while since I've used Windows 7. So we have uh, yeah, it's called the E8400, 3 gigahertz dual core. We got 16 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, blah blah blah. So I, I don't know where they have like the um, advanced settings. No. Anyway, thought they had like a Windex, <laughs> Windex, Windows performance index. But anyway, we're gonna try this one for a while. I just need it to run like 3D printing and, and things like that. Um, programming ham radios. Stuff that I can't do, like, necessarily on Ubuntu or other flavors of Linux. Also, uh, you know, because Brian suggested it, I'm going to try uh, Debian. So I've downloaded that. I need to put it on a drive. Should be good to go. And we'll uh, install that on another hard drive. I won't put it on this computer because this one's a little too old. But anyway.